Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on ASP.NET 4.5 for students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn ASP.NET. This is part 22 in this series and is also part 2 of the Ado.NET tutorial. To continue with our activity, we will make the procedure to fill the drop-down list currently inside the page load to a new method, separate method, called fill list. Then we will add 5 buttons in panel 1, button add, insert, edit, update, and delete. Then we will make a method buttons active to enable or disable the five buttons and panel two. Therefore, it should accept six parameters. So let's go back to default. We will delete this text box and then we will add buttons in panel one. So the first button will, will be for adding a record and we'll change also the name so that it will be difficult for us to refer to it later in our code and another one for inserting and we'll change also its name to button insert the third one is for editing if we want to start uh, to edit a record and then the name is edit, button edit, another button. So once editing is finished and you want to update our database, this is the button to be, to be clicked. This is button update. And the last one is for deleting a record. So we'll call it button delete. Button delete. So now let's go back to our code behind. Uh, what are we going to do here? First, we will delete this text box one dot text change or text change method. We don't need it anymore. Then we will put this method to fill the values inside a drop down list to another method. So we'll cut it and we will call that method fill list. So now we will write it there and we will create one right after it. So this is protected void uh, fill list. Fill list and we will paste that code. Okay, fill list. Another thing that we're going to do is to create uh, another method for the active buttons, including the panel buttons active, and it will have six um, parameters. So that would be F to F. And we will simply declare here what um, among the panel and uh, the buttons will be enabled or disabled. Button add that enabled is equal to B button edit that enabled is equal to C button um, insert after add the button insert that enabled is equal to C and then uh, this button edit is for D then button update that enabled is for E and the last button delete that enabled is equal to F. Okay, so the first time we fill the drop down list, what should be the buttons that are active? I think it's only add, it should only be add. So it's false, 
true and then false 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 one two three four five six correct okay okay we forgot semicolon here and when we change the value inside the drop down list the question is what buttons will be activated again so we'll call this buttons active uh, so this time we should activate uh, add edit and delete so that would be false true false true false and true Okay, so let's look at it in our browser. Okay, so if I select Mohammed, they are still working. And add, edit, and delete have already been enabled. Then. To continue with our activity, we will delete the list box and replace it with two text boxes for ID and name and a checkbox for the scholar field. Then we'll create methods to add, edit, and delete records. Okay, so let's go back to the default. Uh, we will delete this list box. Instead, we will put student ID and a text box below it, student name, and also a text box, then scholar, and all so a checkbox okay so now we can create some an event for add so let's start with the buttons active buttons active if i click add then we should enable the panel through we should disable add so false and we should enable insert and the rest else are disabled so false uh, false and false okay what else we should set uh, the values of text box one dot text to nothing same thing with text box two it should be nothing and checkbox one dot check should be initially false okay now we can create an event for insert so what will we do when we insert i'll just copy this selected index change so that we don't have to type many things we will just change what is necessary. For example, so if it's insert, then we will have a different command. It will be insert into. So, okay, here. Insert into our table, students, and then the fields, ID, name, and scholar, then the values. We're going to use parameters. To use parameters, you start with an add sign. So add sign ID followed by add sign name. And the last is add sign scholar. Then we have to close it. So we don't need a data reader to insert a record. But now we're going to uh, declare our parameters with value let's start with add id it will be whatever is inside text box one dot text followed by the second parameter name add with value so add sign name it will be anything inside text box two dot text. And the last is for scholar. Scholar, sorry. 
if I do the assign scholar, it will be anything inside checkbox one dot checked. Okay, semicolon. We will open it. Now we don't need a reader because we don't need to display any data. Instead, the command will be run, run using execute nine query there. Execute nine query. So we're not going to read uh, anything for the reader, but we will need to respond, at least display something. So we'll use this response that right to tell the user that the record has been added. Record has been added. Okay, so the question is, what buttons are we going to enable? Maybe only add. So this one should be false. And delete also should be false. So now that we're done with, is there an error? List box one, yeah, we forgot. So here, because we deleted already the list box, we have to change this to text box one dot text is equal to reader ID dot to string. Same here. It should now be text box two dot text is equal to reader name dot to string and the last one is for the checkbox. So this is checkbox one dot checked is equal to let's make it a boolean. So reader scholar delete. Okay. Let's try to add it a record. So right now it's disabled. If we click add, uh, the text boxes and the checkbox will be enabled. Let's add number four, Abdul Rahman. And he's a scholar. When we click insert, record has been added. So if we go back to our drop down list, oh, it's still not because we were not able to fill it. Okay. So add, insert. After this, we have to call um, fill list. Okay, here. Okay. So now we are ready to edit. Let's try to edit. So if it's edit, then what buttons are we going to activate? We're going to activate only the panel and update. So only the panel and update. False, false, true, and false for the delete button. Then we can already create our method for update. So we'll just copy again uh, this set of commands from insert and we'll just revise them. So uh, certainly because this is update, we're going to use the update SQL statement. Update students and we're going to set ID is equal to at sign ID name is equal to at sign name and scholar is equal to at sign scholar and then we were going to have a where clause where ID is equal to whatever was selected in the drop down list we'll call it at old ID okay so the rest of the parameters are correct but we have to add another parameter for 
whatever was selected in the drop down list and that parameter we will put in old id so this is drop down list one that selected value correct semicolon open execute nine query record has been updated okay then yeah i think it's the same we will only activate add okay so the last one is to delete again we will simply copy whatever is in insert and update so we will change now our SQL statement to delete from our tables from our table I mean where ID is equal to our parameter ID uh, where ID is equal to add ID and con so we don't need the other parameters only the ID parameter and it's correct also we're going to execute this using non query and then record has been deleted again okay correct i think okay now let's try to look at it in our web browser if everything is working smoothly let's try to add uh this time number five um Khalid is uh, not a scholar. Let's insert. Record has been added. So if you go here, ah, we were not able to clear our drop down list. So let's go back to our drop down list. Sorry for that. It's our fill list. Where's that fill list? Yeah, here, fill list. So we have to make sure that our drop down list one that items that clear. Okay. okay. Control S. Now let's try to look at it again in the browser. Okay. Now five Khalid. Let's add another one. Um, number six. Uh, Majid is a scholar. Let's click insert. Record has been added. So if you go to our drop list, there we now have six records. Let's select uh, Hassan and let's try to edit Hassan by putting his um, last name Al Hassan also. And we'll, we'll make him a scholar. So when we update, record has been updated. So when we go back again to Hassan, let's change to Mohammed and to Hassan. There, it's updated already. Now let's try to delete Hassan. Delete. Record has been deleted. So if you go here. Hassan is not entering anymore there. Wow, so congratulations. We just finished discussing added data in ASP.NET 4.5. Thank you for watching this video and masalama.